Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Pocket Monsters Green Version. Last time we did the Mew glitch, even though I'm not gonna be using Mew. Or me, as it's called in this game, because that's just how crazy the, the translators are. We also defeated our rival here at Nugget Bridge, or Golden Orb Bridge. What was it called, actually? Gold Ball Bridge, I suppose. And I have a Pippi One thing. I'm not sure what that is. I suppose we could probably find out eventually. But, first things first, I'm not gonna be battling the Bug Catcher or the Juvenile that's down here for quite a while. I still need him for the uh, Mew Glitch later on. So yeah, but I will be battling all these trainers here. The woods is the place for nearby trainer to take exercise. So I suppose then we'll be able to make some decent progress in here. And let's see, he has Kellar, of course. Oh crud! I forgot to swap back the salad. Okay, again, there's a salad, and yeah, you've got sharpness and- Ah, come on, you hit home. Oh well, at least he was smart enough not to use sharpness a second time. Ow, oh, you got me! Sharp teeth, is that like Hyper Fang or something? I'm not really sure. I don't remember what level it learns Hyper Fang at, but maybe. Maki. Yeah, I think I'll switch over to free. Yeah, so then I can have it use willpower on it. There we go. <laughs> He's using trumps to a sale! Uh, let's see, what is there to talk about today? Well, I'm not really sure. <laughs> Well, let's see what this guy has to say. Maybe he'll inspire me to say something funny. Do not bad! What? Pet, if only one is strong, can't defeat the opponent unfamiliar or unskilled. It's better to foster more. That made no sense, but whatever. Oh yeah, I grabbed that item last time. Now, while I'm thinking of it, I'm gonna move Salad up to the front where he belongs. And another mountain man. Are you going to the home of Masaki? Contest before going! And, yep, yeah, another mountain man, and he probably has a Yiwa! Or an Onyx, for those confused as I am. Eventually, I'll get used to calling them Yiwa, I suppose, but until then, I'm just gonna refer to them as Onyxes. Do so good! It's fast, or you go sidewalking when you go back to the light blue city. You mean this area? I guess that could be sidewalking. Oh well, uh, that... I think I can either lure that guy down two spaces or so, like, down here, or I can just wait until I get cut. I'm Miniskirt! My boyfriend is Boy Scout! Okay, so that's one way to introduce yourself, I suppose. And I forgot that she was the one with two Nidorans, or Niders, so I suppose I'll go over to Free for some more of Superman's willpower. Yes, this the Superman type really works on the poison type here. Is it called uh, the poison type in this game? Yes, it is. It's poison. Wasn't sure, because, well... Grass is called Weed, and Psychic is called Superman. So there's no real way to know what it's gonna be called. 
without having to second guess yourself. And, uh, what was bug type called again in this? <laughs> so I have two weed moves a poison and a superman. Oh well. <laughs> Oh yeah, by the way, Free is not going to be staying as a permanent team member, actually. So don't get too attached to him, everybody, because he's not going to be sticking around for too much longer. Not in good state. In fact, I guess until I can get to Vermilion City, this is going to be kind of like a uh, Ivysaur solo run. My boyfriend should be also such strong. Okay. I'll just battle this guy. I'm going to enjoy the precious collected by fanatics of pet living in the cape. I think that, that meant he was going to enjoy seeing Bill's collection. Oh well, yet another mountain man with a stone. And Rat and Whip ought to take care of it. I wonder if he has three stones and, uh, whatever Machop is called in this. And, yep, another stone. If I'm, if I'm right, then that's just really silly that I was able to remember <laughs> his entire lineup. Especially considering he's such an obscure trainer. Nice. Seven more levels and I'll get my next move. And one Lee. I believe that is Machop. Yep. Yep, that's Machop. Or one Lee, as I should be calling it, since that's what it's called in this game. Wow, that was pathetically weak. <laughs> and free, that might be... Possibly one of his last level ups. And yet another. Oops, I meant to switch back to salad. However, willpower is very strong against these guys. I mean, seriously. Come round? Oh, that was Defense Curl. Okay, so, become round. That's something to look out for. Okay. And Mountain Man is defeated. Falling a prey to a plot. What? As long as you are... Wait, what? As long as you are tenatics, you should have variety of precious pet. What's a tenatic? <laughs> I'm one of Boy Scouts. My girlfriend is miniskirt. Okay, so yeah, this is the uh, boyfriend of that mini skirt from earlier. Boy Scout made a challenge, and he has Kellar. I was half expecting him to have Nidorans as well, just like his girlfriend did. But I suppose that would probably just be too predictable, and wow, way to hit home, Salad. And Parton. Yeah, now I remember that those are Ekans. I guess I could just associate Parton with that duck beak on a snake, because that's what it looks like, really. Either that, or it stretched its mouth out trying to eat a giant egg. Because snakes do tend to eat eggs. At least I think that's... In fact, I think it even said that Ekans likes to eat eggs of Spiro and Pidgey. Ha! Ha ha! Oh, come on, that wasn't too funny of a dialogue. Hey, whatever let your girlfriend comfort me. Okay, I'm not sure I understand. Skill Machine 19. Let's see, what does that teach? Even though it'll be completely different to what it actually is, I'm just gonna check. Throw the Earth! Huh. Um, I'm not going to teach that to anyone quite yet, but I'm going to keep that in mind that that's there. I'm pretty sure that there might be an item hidden around here. 
but I'm not sure, actually. I'm just call it a hunch, but I think there might be an item hidden around here. Hmm! I have a premonition that I'll contest with you. Oh, so are you like one of the psychics, or... You know what? There's also trainers called psychics, I think. And I wonder if they'll be called Superman. Because if so, then that would be hilarious. <laughs> oh, crud, it's using rap on me. Let's swap out to free, so then he can finish off this part. And, and of course I'm weak to Poison Needle. Oh well, willpower will definitely wipe this thing out. With an extremely good effect. Okay, and... Desert, that sand shrew, I think. Yeah, yep, that was a sand shrew, definitely. You see, I'm, I'm getting used to these names now, because... Well, we've only been seeing the same ten or so Pokémon, or pets, in this game, so there's not really much to expect, I suppose. Has a premonition that he is losing! The tactics are not so bad to exchange pet at once when being puzzled. Okay. Not sure what that means, but... Oh, actually, I think he was talking about swapping out when you're confused. Friends have many lovely pets. How angry. <laughs> and she was... I think she was the one that was talk, that talked about uh, how her friend had a cute Pokemon and she wanted one. Oh, hey, it's in Unide, or Unidi, or whatever. How, do, how would you pronounce that? I'm wondering. <laughs> and Absorb doesn't do too much, because it's of the same type as Salad, being grass type, and... That's one more move that's kept its name consistent, actually. Yeah, I'm not using Rat and Whip, because, well, that would do nothing to it. Let's see... Bobo! Been a while since we saw one of those. Actually, this is the first Bobo we've seen in this video, actually, I think. Yep, and it comes packaged with Blow as well. And that takes care of that one. And... another Unite. I'll just uh, swap out to free. You know what? You know what I have to say to this Unide? This is the United States of Kanto! Bow! I was hoping that bad pun would knock it out. Okay, let's finish it off with one more willpower. <laughs> I guess a bad pun can't really be expected to knock out an opponent. Not at all feeling wronged. And I think now I understand why the uh, text has been skipping over. I keep pushing the A button immediately after. Uh, well, basically those two times or three, I'm not sure how many. But I accidentally skipped some dialogue from, I think, Childs and a Juvenile along the way. But I... Well, I've already edited in what they said, but I think it's because I've pushed the A button one too many times before they could even get their dialogue in that it skipped right over it. Are you from the Moon Admiring Mountain? Then I want my Bobo! Hmm, give me! You already have a Bobo! Here's the Cape House, the home of Masaki. And, uh, you know, here's something that I... Oh, always heard of that there's there used to be this rumor that Bill had a secret garden behind his house, basically where that empty lot is. As you can see, there's only just a wall right there. Let's see, it appears transmitting machinery on the screen of PC. Okay. Hello, iPad. Different. 
I'm Ma Masaki. People call me the fanatic pet. Ah, what? Which I? Not any believable? Really? Being failed in the test was linked with pet. Ah, can you help me? Nope. Then, don't mention the ice-cold topic. Oh, a playboy. What? How lovely. The president, aha. Is it okay? I've determined. I'm going to enter into the branch system of transfer machine. Thanks. Yes, the PC over there. Why did he call me a playboy? Okay, I'm just gonna reset him and see what happens if I say yes to him. Yes, you are Masaki or Masaki. How would you pronounce that? I'm going to enter into the branch system of transfer machine. Thanks! Yes, the PC over there. Okay, so he says the same thing. Hmm, I wonder, does he say anything if I try to talk to him? Nope. And you can't enter this thing yourself. That's only for him to enter in a cutscene. The separate process of transmit machinery has started now. <laughs> and there he goes. I wonder. It appears transmit machinery on the screen of PC. Yeah, yeah that's the exact same thing. Ah, thank you very much. You've helped me much. Why don't you come to enjoy my precious pet? What? No, interesting. Ah, right. Give you this, but you mustn't think it a gift in return. And I have received the boat ticket from Masaki. So wait, think it not a gift, but it is a gift. Now, the Sandu Anu ship has arrived at the harbor of the Dried Leaves City. There seems coming man many pet trainer. It's good to have a ticket, but I don't like dance party and the alike. You take the place of me and have a fun there. Okay, so he doesn't like dance parties. Now let's see what he says now. Alright! Let's show you my precious collection pet. Look, this is my PC. Okay, so let's get four new Pokedex entries. Even though they won't be complete entries, they'll still be added pages to the little illustrated handbook. This is the list of pet to Mr. Masaki's liking. Yibu, Booster, Thunder, and Heavy Rain. I can already guess which ones are which. My guess is Eevee, Flareon, Jolteon, and Vaporeon, respectively. Yeeb. Evolution. Hmm. It looks kind of weird. <laughs> Wait, what? Where was the U in it? Oh, well, Booster... Of course. It just added two extra... Oh, okay, I get it. It was just playing the extra... stuff there to show what its full name is, but it can't in the actual decks because of the five character limit. Thunder... What the? Sunra! Okay. <laughs> And it's the Thunder species and Heavy Rain. Showy! Foam. Okay, well that adds another four pages to the illustrated handbook. It's time to get moving. And to get out of here, because now I believe I can possibly now head over to the Dry to Leave City, aka Vermilion. And say goodbye to the good music, temporarily. However, I wonder if I can enter that house. Yes, I can. Wait, what? Oh, there he is. <laughs> I was wondering where he went. Well, hey, this house has been stolen by thieves. You know who is the crime. It's missiles. Even though the policeman embarrasses whatever missile has done. You know what? I'm gonna heal up real quick. Then I'm gonna to take on that missile. 
Welcome to our center path, blah 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 blah. I don't care, I just want to heal. Maybe I should just turbo the healing process. Like I did in episode 2, I think. Because that would probably be more convenient and time efficient. But then again, I already turboed once in this LP. But, I don't know. I guess, well that's another thing I guess you could write a comment about is if you think I should just turbo right through these types of things like healing. Missile! He'll certainly think out some evil ideas if you let Pet dig hole. Okay. Ah, Missile Fellow. What a mess you've made in my house. The stolen skill machine is in the desert. Teach him the skill of how to dig a hole on the ground. That is expensive. Hmm. Let's see, does this say anything? Hmm. Okay, it doesn't have anything to say, I suppose. All our books a pet. Let's see. There's a hole on, on the wall. From here we can go through. Even though it looks kind of like a TV. Don't you think so? It looks like an old TV. Oh well, I suppose so. What, what does he start out with again? I think he starts out with a Machop. So if that's the case, I'll start out with three. Hello! Don't enter into other one's private yard. Well, I... I'm just passing by here. No any being suspect. S suspect? <laughs> okay, that's one way to phrase something, I suppose. Rocket member has made a challenge. And yes, I made the correct decision to send out free to battle one Lee. So yeah, this is definitely gonna be an easy battle. Barehanded cut karate chop. Oh crud, it hit home. That's never good. But, at the very least, good job, Free you got him down. And Silip, that's probably Drowsy. And both of my team members are weak to psychic moves. But, with Rat and Whip and level 23, I think I'm gonna be very set for this battle. Beat. So he's using Pound instead of Confusion or Willpower. Oh well. Man, he looks really thick in this game. Silip does. And I think Drowsy is based on uh, Tapir. I'm not sure what that is, but it's supposed to be like an elephant-like creature. And it also looks like it's dipped in chocolate, I suppose, at least the bottom half of it. And there we go. Ah, admired! Never done again! Please let me go! I understand. Regiving you the stolen skill machine. And I got TM28 from Missile. Then, then... I'll withdraw! See you later! Yes, I will see you later. All the way over in Sylph Company. Or wherever it is that he appears before then. Uh, but for this one, I'm just going to turbo through this. There we go. Just to save a couple seconds, I suppose, because I don't really like wasting time. I suppose whenever I go to Pokemon Center, or Pet Center, or Center Pets, or whatever you want to call it in this game, even though it is called the Center Pet, I wonder what does this guy say now that I have the Dig TM? I have no more illusions about the stolen. Diguter in my family is teaching. Okay. Let's see. And I have absolutely no use for the Dig TM, but let's see what it's called in this game. And Dig Hole. <laughs> okay, so that's what Dig is, it's Dig Hole. Now, you might be wondering why I'm just heading on over here in the first place. 
before actually going to um, the gym? Well, that's because I'm going after my next team member. Because this is the earliest that I can possibly get it. Underground passage begins here. A light blue city. Dried levies city. Or levies. Hi, you! Do you have Niter? Do you want to exchange my Niter? No, they're the same name. Though very tired, you can do nothing. Okay. I'm not even gonna bother with the hidden items here. Well, I might pick up some if I manage to walk into them. Oh! Amplifier! That's... I, I think that's Super Potion. I'm not sure, but it might be. It is said that there are many th thing lost in the dark underground... Uh, underground tunnel. <laughs> It's not an underground tunnel, it's an underground. Underground passage begins here. Light blue city, dry the levies. Levies city. Uh, let's see, can I dodge that guy? Yes, I can. Because I technically don't want to battle him quite yet. Because I think he has a level 20 free, just like I do. Or a level 20... Uh, nature, rather. Let's just swap out to Salad, because these are two unavoidable trainers that are required to battle to get there. I? Hmm. Contact maybe is good. What? Why have so many... Uh, so much... Blank space for talking. Girl Scout. Okay. That's a nice par er, parallel to Boy Scout, I suppose. And I don't think Bobo will have anything that can really do super effective on me. Uh, sprinkle Sand. So yeah, th this should be very easy. And now I'm eating my words here. Thank you for sprinkling sand in my eyes twice in a row. And going first. At the very least, I was able to beat that thing. Because otherwise... Well, let's see. Another Bobo! Free, get out there, and... Uh, use Superman's willpower on it. Because we all know that nothing can truly withstand Superman's willpower. Not even the ghost Pokemon that we're meant to combat the psychic type. As ultrasonic, so it's trying to learn supersonic, which I'm not going to be using. Jeez. Nope. Then shall we abandon letting ultrasonic to remember? Yes. Free, it is ended for me not to have remembered ultrasonic. And another Bobo! Yes, I'll switch back to Salad, which seems kind of redundant, but it's just so then Salad can gain even more experience, and I'm really overleveled compared to Misty. Oh, <laughs> I meant to use Go All Out, not Rat and Whip. Because that will do much more damage, and we're almost at the end of this video. Let's just hope that I can defeat it with Go All Out real quickly. And then I'll call it a video. Let's see. Won the contest with Girl Scout. He looks not successfully. Can you tell me the secret of getting stronger? Sure, in the next episode of Let's Play Pocket Monsters Green!